So, good evening. Uh, we're chatting with Ms. Sheila Nazarian, the curator for uh, the exhibit tonight on Persian Jewish artists um, in the uh, United States. Can you please tell us what inspired you to put together this exhibit of various artists, sculptors, photographers, um, and whatnot? Thank you for asking me. Um, it's a pleasure to be at a position of working with artists. The reason I started to uh, search for and uh, bring together a group of amazing artists was uh, USC Hillel, which is a, has an arts uh, committee, asked me to put together a, a group of artists. And um, I know that it's a uh, past due for us as a community, Iranian community, and also for American community here in LA to understand the importance of the work that the Iranian artists do, Iranian Jewish artists. And uh, it's only my pleasure to introduce the amazing artists that are living in LA and also New York and in the United States. The kind of work they do, the importance of their work in, our, in presenting our culture, our heritage, and our messages that we need to give to all ages. And um, it's, I'm hoping that there is more curiosity, more support from our community and American community at large. And uh, it's just the first step. Okay. The prison Jewish community has typically been very conservative. They've encouraged their kids to get involved with some of the uh, traditional professions like being a doctor or a lawyer, an engineer. Do you see the community opening up to the arts and encouraging their kids to get into uh, artistic type work, filmmaking? I really believe so. I think so. I think our children are our next uh, they're showing us are the way to us. I think that it only um, is uh, it's only the place for us to understand them, to support them, to be there for them, and hope to for them to find their ways, their languages, their tools to uh, speak, their messages that they have to say, and um, as parents and as community members. Um, I think that our children are showing us the way and also there are a lot of artists our ages and older that need the support and the guidance for our children and for our future to keep our heritage and language alive. Um, what kind of reaction did you get to uh, this evening's um, presentation? I know this is one of the very few occasions where so many Persian Jewish artists' work has been presented in one venue. Uh, wh what did you know the viewers, the crowd? What did they say? Um, everybody's amazed. The Americans, they just uh, amazed with the with the culture that we're coming from, with the knowledge of what we bring, the the uh, intensity, the beauty, the vastness of our culture. And the artists are so appreciative to be uh, to be seen, to be recognized, and and be, being able to voice their messages and show their messages. The audience are so pleased and very supportive. And I hope that it's just the beginning. And I hope that as a community and as a, um, as Jews and Iranians, we understand the importance of art in our community and support it every step of the way. Uh, there was something really unique about this exhibit. Um, your mom was exhibiting some of her uh, artwork. Behind you is some of these sculptures that she's done. Uh, what is it like for you to exhibit some of her work and share her work with the rest of the community? I'm very proud. Uh, she is a very um, serious artist. She takes her work very seriously. She spends hours. It's a place of contemplation for her. It's a place of um, of truth for her, where she speaks her language. She's a very she doesn't speak much, but she does, and she shows her work, her messages, in her work. 
and uh, I am only honored to show this. Thank you for chatting with us and good luck with uh, what you're doing.